Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me back and for watching this video on my YouTube channel. So for those that are just watching my video for the first time, let me quickly reintroduce myself. My name is Imano Itoje. I'm a Microsoft 365 MVP and I'm also a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Um, today I'll be sharing with you some how I pass Microsoft um, certifications exams. So I've written a couple of Microsoft certification exams, um, especially um, everything under fundamentals. I've written everything on Microsoft fundamental certifications and I've written a couple of um, associate examinations too, as well as um, about three um, expert certifications too for Microsoft um, um, technologies generally. Now, Microsoft has actually recently updated their what we call um, certification poster, in which we have certifications around um, infrastructure. Uh, this talking about Azure. Let me see if I can zoom into this. The other zoom button. So we have certifications on infrastructure here. And um, we have certifications around data and AI, then digital apps and innovations, then for modern work, um, as well as um, business applications, then um, security. So we're going to see certifications around um, infrastructure. I just zoom in here a bit. Um, infrastructure talking about the AZ900 and everything on Azure infrastructure from AZ104, AZ305. AZ 700, AZ 800 and 801 and um, for the specialty certifications as well. So there are different um, categories um, basically for based on Microsoft certification poster, infrastructure, data and AI, like I said, digital apps and innovation. That's talking about DevOps actually. So being an Azure developer and DevOps, then for data, data covers around um, Data and AI covers around AIs as well as as well as um, data. Talking about Azure Data Science, Azure Data Engineer, Azure AI Engineer, Fabrics Analytics. So anything that do with data. Then for modern works, modern works is Microsoft Traces Five and also things around um, endpoint management, right? Teams and the like. So a lot of their certifications has actually been retired under the modern works. So that's why we have fewer numbers here. They used to be. A lot more than that and I can remember about five or six certifications were actually retired from the modern works talking about the MS 500 as a security administrator MS 203 exchange administrator then we have um, one MS I think 220 also exchange online troubleshooting terms that that's the troubleshooting and teams troubleshooting as well as teams developers and all that so those used to be under modern works and they've been retired then we have business ap application speaking around um for dynamic streets 5 crm erp as well as power platform so those are the ones that makes up the business applications now then lastly talk about the security so security any description that falls around security compliance and identity even Azure security is part of security, cyber security, architects and all that. So these are um, different Microsoft um, certifications that are currently available based on the last update from Microsoft as soon as um, they updated the certification posters. So why, why am I having um, these um, conversations with us today? So basically I want to share how I prepare for Microsoft certifications exam and again if I how do, how do I get the certification poster you can get the certification poster can, by actually searching for any Microsoft exams so I'm going to use an example using SC300 right so it talks about identity and assets administrator associate I'm going to um, click on this to go into the exam itself so the first resource that I use to prepare for the Microsoft um, certifications is actually on the exam page itself. So the learning part for any of the certifications. So I will get the exam code from the, certif um, the certification poster here. So once I get the exam code for the certification poster, just open my browser, then type the exam code. Um, the first link will actually take me to 
the learning part where is the learning part when you open the link and you scroll down you're going to see first of all the overview of the certifications right what is what the certifications actually entails then you'll be able to see the skill measures right what are the skills that are measured that microsoft is actually measuring then you now see um this certification learning part here so if you complete this learning part i highly recommend that if you're preparing for any microsoft exams complete the learning part for that particular exams although in the future microsoft can add other materials to the learning part but at the point of view preparing for the exams it is good that you use the learning part and by the time you are done with the learning part right you can take a practice assessment so you can take the practice assessment right to check your knowledge based on what you've learned so these are um, assessment that microsoft has actually you know basically provided for you to check after going through the learning part to just test yourself based on um, your learnings on that particular exams to show how prepared you are then Microsoft also provides um, some if you want to do some labs some of the certification actually has labs so you can actually launch the sandbox here to do the lab then there are other videos that are experts as provided they are like tips and strict right and strategy for preparing for the exams so you can also watch this video here so this will take give you full details about the exams right the total um, minutes you use to complete the exams then exam policies and all that so this is basically where you will schedule the exam i'm not going to focus on this in this particular video I'm going to do a different video on how to schedule Microsoft exams. So this is under certification resources. This is where you see the certification poster here. So once you click on this certification poster, it's going to actually open this for you. So in case you cannot remember any of the exam or there's a particular exam you're trying to schedule and you can't remember the exam code. Uh, the certification poster is actually a great resource to learn. Now, so this is actually the first resources that I use to prepare for all my Microsoft examination um, I'm going to actually leave a disclaimer right I have filled more exams that are fast talking about Microsoft certifications because most of the most of the exams I feel I, I actually do not have time to complete the learning part or maybe I just do it halfway or just focus on one, one or two area of the learning part but if you every other exam that I've passed I've actually you know Go deep into the learning part to actually understand what are the things that are actually required for me to know as a person now one of the reasons why i don't complete the learning part personally is because i don't learn fast by reading i learn faster by watching video so what i do is that i go to udemy so you just go to udemy.com here right so the exams i want to write in the search box i'll just put sc 300 so before i even go if you notice um there is um a discount pass here saying that today only courses start at just seven five so i'm recording this video today um 5th of november which is actually a tuesday so every monday and every tuesdays most of the time there's always discount sales running on udemy right so if you feel that um the the exam that you're preparing for right you want a video so i'll encourage you to actually check udemy on mondays and on tuesdays right which usually has um discounts promo running so going back again so in the search box i will search for sc300 then i'll hit the enter key on my keyboard so this will actually basically give me different courses by different authors you know different trainers on udemy based on what I've searched which is um SC300 so I'm seeing about 1703 results for SC300 but not all are training some are actually practice days and all that so for me right um this particular author John Christopher is one of the one of my favorite auto on Udemy especially especially for Microsoft certifications so all I just need to do so the cost instead of paying um 89,900 for this course because of this discount that is running I only get to pay 14,900 because I'm currently in Nigeria. Then another favorite auto for me is um, Alan Rodriguez. So I actually, I usually buy two of those autos courses, right? Whenever I want to pay for any of my certifications, then um, Scott Duffy is also a great auto too, right? Scott Duffy, I use um, Scott Duffy's AI 102 to prepare for my Hajo AI um, certifications um, examination, right? Then there's another great auto too. 
Anad, Anad, right? Anaral. Anaral is also another great author on Udemy that I've used his courses. Now, before I begin, you know, making payments or buying courses on Udemy, before I actually knew these authors, what I did was first to actually check the reviews, um, looking for how many students have actually enrolled in the courses for each of them. So I'm seeing like about um, 3,000 students for John, then I'm seeing about 1,000. 355 student for um, Alan, then for Anad, I'm seeing. So what I look is I look at the feedback right from each of the students before I pay them, before I actually knew them. So I'll go into the course, then I'll come down to the feedback session. I'll come back to the feedback session to see what are the things that students are saying about the course, right? So that's actually what actually helped me before actually that um. That these guys are actually you know great guys you know for those Microsoft certifications so again um, John Christopher and also um, Alan are actually one of my favorite um, auto now the third resource that I use now the third resource I use is actually github right so if you go to github.com right for all Microsoft exams um, github actually have a lab demo for them so it is not just enough that you go through the learning part here some of the learning parts have some practicals have some lab in between but what microsoft has done is that microsoft has made it easy right for people to actually have easy access to the lab and the labs are available on github.com here so if you go to github.com again then you look at the search bar so you don't need to actually sign up for it just on the search bar search the same course it's 300 search it is going to give you different courses you know available so I don't know why this is happening why is it have exceeded and secondary read limit um, let me refresh this or let me go in private window for this let me go in private window github that's come So here, search for SC300. So if this doesn't work, I will just sign in. So let me just go back here and sign in. So in case you are experiencing issues like this, you can just you know sign into the account. So I'm going to sign in into my GitHub account by clicking on the sign in. Then I put the names and the password. All right, so. I'm inside the GitHub. So what I just need to do, again, just search, use the search bar to search SC300. Maybe it was waiting for me to sign in anyway. So it's bringing a lot of courses for me on GitHub. But what I'm interested in is this one that says Microsoft Learn slash SC300. So anything that says Microsoft Learn, that means it's connected to the Microsoft Learn series model here. So it's connected here. So um, let's wait for that. So sometimes, right, you're going to see, so you're already inside the SC300 already. So what you need to do is that either here, you will see link to HTML lab or here. So you see this link to labs, HTML formats, you click on it, right? So these are all the labs for that particular course, SC300. So you can just start with the first one. What I usually do is I right click and open in a new tab, right click and open in a new tab, right? Then I will check. So I follow the lab scenario here just to get my hands dirty before the exam. So in case I meet a practical questions that requires labs or knowledge of, you know, doing it um, practically, I know that this will actually, you know, help me to, you know, um, understand the question especially the scenarios based questions and the drag and drop questions this will actually help me so that's how you get the lab so i've mentioned the microsoft link i've also mentioned um, the udemy courses then also um, the lab on github so those are the resources that i use personally to prepare for microsoft certification exams and sometimes you can actually go on youtube on YouTube, you see some practical, you know, assessment questions also that can also help you with your certification exam. I hope that this video is helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat window, right? And again, 
if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly you know subscribe to the channel like the video share the videos with others i'm very sure it's going to help a lot of people that um looking forward to how they can prepare for microsoft subscription exams thank you so much bye for now